this whole piece came off. Look. But, oh. What's up, y'all? So, today, um, I just got a little inspired to do a little cooking video. You guys might see my hands. Um, today I'm gonna do ribs. It is kind of early in the morning, so voice is a little off, but, um, I did, I did wash this, um, I mean, I did clean it, and I'm doing two of these, and I'm putting them in a crock pot, so I just thought I'd do a little crock pot series. Um, no, I'm not a cook, but it came out really good the last time I did it, so we're gonna hope it comes out really good for this time. So, so far, I've, I've used this which is so happens to be my brother's one of my brother's favorite i guess seasonings so picked up this it is kind of salty so i only use a little i do only put it on one side i did season it i did put it on here already so um i didn't put a lot so i'm just gonna add a little bit more and then i'm gonna move on uh, sorry if you guys hear noise in my background. That is my coffee pot because it is morning and I am trying to put this in a crock pot so I can eat breakfast. Sorry for my clicking. Um, oh, I forgot to do my little intro. Anyway, you guys don't mind. I am using onion powder. I'm only using a couple of seasonings because it came out really good just being the way it was. Um, I will show you every seasoning I use. So, you know... Just thought you guys would like to see my little recipe, even though I ain't no cook, okay? I ain't no cook. I'm just experiment. This is all experiment, okay? This is another one that I used. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, maybe if I turn the brightness down. Oh, look, I'm messing up the sun. I don't know if this is focused. I'm really hoping this is focused. Um, <laughs> I did use this. It's really good, actually. I'm pretty sure this is for, like, steaks. But it's really good. Um, so. It gives it a nice, like, smoky flavor. So I'm going to add this. Boom, 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 boom. That's enough, because this is kind of overpowering. So, that's it for that. And here, my friends, I seen um, this guy on YouTube. His name is Cooking with AB. He has one of these, but his is circle. But guess what's in it? Salt, baby. Kosher salt. The harsh kind, so it's like big grains. So, I just put a little bit of this on here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Boom, 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 Not a whole lot because that Creole seasoning does have salt in it, so, yeah. Um, I am using tongs because I don't like to touch this with my hands, and I just can't right now. So, <laughs> I do use it just with this side over. We season both sides because I... <laughs> I heard this other lady say on YouTube, she said, we season both sides because we eat both sides. So, <laughs> that's what I'm going to go with. This time, I'm not putting this back on here because this can get really salty. So, we're just using the onion powder and a little bit of the, uh, you know, smoky uh, seasoning. Just a little bit. God dang it. I had to pick up my uh, scissors that were sitting over here. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Two little tiny pinches. I don't take big generous pinches because, look, I don't want high blood pressure. <laughs> okay? Not at, I don't want high blood pressure. I don't need high blood pressure right now. Just a little bit. Sorry you guys haven't seen me in a while. I am currently transitioning into my next phase of or my last phase of pregnancy so and although it doesn't look like it's a lot of seasoning on the back it's not so 
and I'm not going to put a lot on the back because I don't want a lot on the back because we have a whole lot on the front. So I am just, I know this is kind of petty, but I don't care because I'm not touching this with my hands. So we're going to take the tongs and we're just going to rub this all. I hope y'all can see this. Can y'all see this? Just going to take this and rub it. it. smells like it should be on the grill already. This smells like it should be on the grill. So I have turned my crock pot on just so it can get all warmed up. We're going to do one at a time. So I'm going to stick this in the crock pot. Oh, BRB. You guys will see it. So we're back over at the crock pot. I know it's a lot going on over here, okay? Ignore all this over here. Ignore all this over here. We're just going to pay attention to the crock pot. Maybe I should bring the crock pot up a little bit. Just bring it on up so y'all can see it, huh? It is plugged in, so it is getting quite hot. So y'all can see. See, look at me. Trying to be. See, see that? Trying to be that day. Oh, I didn't even know I had. I can clean. Anyway. Um, here's inside the crock pot. It is getting hot. It, it does look like a little crock pot. I actually don't know how much this can hold, but I know this big thing can fit in here because I've had one in here and it fell completely apart. So, we're going to add this one. And here. Uh, we're going to do bone side. Oh, got a little something on there. We're going to put this on this side. Oh, no. No, 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 we're not. We're going to flip. See how I'm being all difficult? We're going to flip this on this side. We're going to flip this on this side so it has a little room. And you would say, yeah, it takes up most of my crock pot. It does. But we are going to stuff another one of these in my crock pot. I know it seems really uh, stupid, but we're going to do that. Um... BRB, we're going to go back to the sink. All right, y'all, we're back at the sink, and y'all can see it kind of from uh, start to finish this time. Uh, I did put my cutting board back, one of my cutting boards back in the sink, because I just feel like it's easier for the cleanup, and not it won't be all over my counter. If you guys wanted to know, I'm using, I know this bag is kind of disgusting, but, um, ooh, this is that. Okay, anyway, um, the extra tender, um, extra meaty pork baby back ribs i did get these from walmart you know the um i did get these from walmart they were nine dollars this one was nine dollars the other one i think was like ten or i don't know it was more than this one but this one it's a little bit meatier on one side than the other and we're gonna stuff this bad boy in the crock pot too so i just wanted to show you this i know it's kind of blood in the bag because i just got done washing it and cleaning it I didn't think you guys wanted to see that part. So, this is the kind that I was using. Boop, 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 All right. All right. Yeah, ignore this stuff. Ignore all the other stuff. These are my dish towels and all kinds of, kinds of, kinds of. All right. Start off with the Creole Slapping Mom Seasoning, which is freaking great, actually. Didn't think it was that good. Well, I didn't think it would be this good. All right, that's enough. That was that was a little bit. That was a lot. For me, that was a lot. Onion powder. My voice sounds really, really horrible. Sorry. I know I don't sound like the twin. You guys know. Make sure you guys get it on all sides. Seem like I'm sprinkling a lot. <laughs> be like, look, now I think I'm a chef. Now I feel like I know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm a freaking chef now. That ain't true. I ain't no chef, okay? This is my personal little recipe. Came out great last time. It's gonna come out great this time. The last time I cooked it for... Put it in the crock pot around 9-ish at night. And it was done at like 1 in the morning. For real, for real. And I left it in the crock pot and I went to work. Because I had to be at work at 6. So I just went back to bed. I did taste them at 1 o'clock. They were fantastic falling off the bone great um did go to work at six came back around two um came back around 10 put the barbecue sauce on it you guys will see so that's what i'm gonna do today it is don't know what time it is 
but it was eight something. It was very early in the morning, eight. Uh, I've been up since three in the morning and haven't been back to sleep yet, so I've been up for about five hours. So, you know. And my brother said he liked the kosher salt because you could see it. You know, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel what he's talking about. Because I could feel, I could see the salt. I can be the salt, you know. I'm making this for me and my co-workers. Mother's Day is tomorrow. I remember last year I did a Mother's Day Mother's Day uh video, I think. So it's about a year. Go ahead and smooth that on in. A little bit on there. Just gonna just take that out, you know. All the extra seasonings. Um, last year, Mother's Day, I went to my mom's house, but this Mother's Day, I will be at work, so probably give some of this stuff to uh, some of my co-workers, because they're all moms. So, onion powder again, just a little. Doesn't look like it was going on there, but... I promise you it did. Oh, that was kind of a lot. Yeah. So, I'm just going to smooth this in the back side. It does have bones in it, by the way. So, it makes it a little harder to stuff it in the crock pot. But we're going to stuff this bad boy in the crock pot. See you at the crock pot, baby. Back at the crock pot once again. I know it seems like it's not going to fit, but we're going to make this bad boy fit. It's already getting hot in here because the crock pot is on. I did turn my crock pot on just so I can, like, preheat the crock pot. So I'm going to try and stuff this. If I would just use my hands, I probably would be able to get it in here. All right. Okay. Let's try and use our hands, Connie. See, I'm going to regret this because I really don't want to touch this with my hands. My hands are clean. I just don't, I just don't like getting them. Ooh. All right. This shit feels gross to me. See, I'm still, ooh, forgot that was, see how fast I just said that thing was on and I forgot it was that fast. I'm trying to stuff it underneath or between. Trying to stuff it between the one that's already in here without ruining my positioning of me. Look, I shouldn't have to struggle, right? I should not be stuffing this big ass thing in here. All right, there we go. This is gonna be a lot. Probably gonna take longer to cook, but it's okay. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is an onion. I got fairly like medium sized onion. Just a regular yellow onion. Um, I'm gonna cut this up real quick. Y'all know if y'all really wanna see me do this, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Just gonna put it up on this crock, um, on this crock pot, <laughs> on this cutting board because why make more dishes? For myself. So. I'm going to take this first layer off. Alright, I just wanted breakfast. <laughs> I came in the kitchen and started doing way too much. This is the second time you guys ever seen me cook anything because first time it was like soup, which was like a year ago. I think something like that. It was like in January. Or 
April. Just cut them up and you know. I know you guys can't really see how I'm cutting it, but I'll show you in a second. Not that big of a deal. I'll show you the size, I'll show you what I just did. Not that big of a deal. See? See, look at me. About to cut my goddamn thing off. Sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to say that right now. I'm just. Almost did that for real. Alright. This is the size. Damn it, this shit break. Hold on now. Alright. This is the size onion that I cut. Literally just gonna break it up. Stick it all in the middle because I don't have any extra room this time. The last time I just had one in there and I had all kinds of extra room. I'm gonna stick some behind here because why not have all those flavors, you know? I'm gonna try to fix this again. Well, it's not gonna get fixed. I'm gonna stuff some in the crack over here too. So, oh, I have a whole nother piece of the onion to cut up. <laughs> so I'm pretty much just gonna lay these on top, stick them in creases and crevices and just, you know, bang it out. Well, it's gonna fit so I freaking see it's not just gonna make it fit, you know? Shoot, I dropped the onion. Ugh. For real there. Just gonna stuff all these. Oh, it's trying to get away, huh? Stuff it down there. What the heck? I feel like I dropped another onion, but I'm not sure. Alright, so now that that's all on top, I'm gonna cut up the rest of the other onion or the other half of the onion. I mean, because I only use half. So I use the whole like medium sized onion, I guess you could say. I love onions, so I use a lot of onions. Uh, I know some people can't do, some people don't like onions, but when it's finished cooking, I take it out of here anyway. So you don't even taste the onions because I don't take the onions out of the crock pot with it. I just take the ribs out and Put them in the, uh, all right, these are kind of thin slices I'm cutting right now, and I'm not sure why I'm cutting them so thin, because I don't want them to, like, disappear, because at the end, you'll still be able to see the onion. I don't cut them up really small, because I still, at the end, I still want to be able to see the onion. really don't like cutting them. So, I'm going to take the rest, stick them in the crevices parts. Creases and crevices. Creases and crevices, creases and crevices. Um, I'm going to add a liquid in here too, by the way. So, this crock pot is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty doggone full. Pretty full today. These onions are pretty, uh, I cut them kind of small. I don't know why I do that. So, oh snap, I just want a onion. So I'm going to stuff all these down to the bottom of the pot because they're all just sitting on top right now. I'm just going to stuff them. You guys can't even see because it's a freaking piece of meat in the way. So, I'm going to stick them all the way down to the bottom. I have really hoped this uh, goes well. Alright, that's literally all the ingredients that I use other than the liquid, which I'm about to get to in a second. Grab me a napkin. Alright. I use the organic bone broth, the beef one. You know, gluten-free, fat-free, I don't know, protein, all kinds of crazy stuff. But I didn't get it because it was organic. I got it because this was the only one on the shelf. So. Well, you know what? Alright, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to pour this straight in the middle. And it's going to fill it up. Going to kind of drench it around the sides and 
Can we some meat up? I'm actually going to use this whole thing because at first I didn't use the whole thing. And now I am. I only used half of it. No, I used the whole one last time. I ended up using the whole one. That's it. It just kind of loosened it up a tad bit, you know? Separate the meat and stuff. <laughs> Separate the meat and stuff. Ooh. Can't grab it now. Alright. Now, I'm gonna take my crock pot top and literally sit down on top of the bad boy. Well, everything fits, so I guess. Hey. We could do that. We could do that. And I'm gonna stick it back here because it makes more room for me. The sauces that I'm gonna use later will be that one. Might be that one. And I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put a smidgen of that in there so it should be a little sweet. I'm gonna use all three of these. So this is the same as the se seasoning. I'm gonna use the smoky one. This is the spicy one. This is what I'm gonna add new. And this is the Capital One Mumbo Sauce. I just wanna add it because it's really sweet. And I kinda want sweet ribs this time. I don't really want, like I want the smoky flavor, but I want sweet too. And this is just the um, sticky sweet barbecue sauce. So. When we come back, oh, I'm gonna let this cook for umpteen amount of hours. Uh, probably, what time is it? Like eight something. We'll check it at 12. We'll check it at five. We'll check it at one o'clock before I leave. Then we'll check it at five. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, all right. One. So it's five hours from now. Yeah, it's five hours from now. And then we'll check it four hours from that. So all together, nine hours. And um, if it needs to be cooked more, if it's not falling off the bone yet by five, we'll leave it in there for some more time. And then we'll see what happens from there. See you at one. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. And here are the two things. Two racks of ribs in the crock pot. I'm really hoping my camera doesn't fall. <laughs> but two racks of crock pot rendered down really, really good. Falling off the bone already. I can literally take... Look, this whole piece came off. Look. But, oh, so we gonna get these on here, get them on a rack, so that way we can put some sauce on it. Let me grab me a, let me grab a big old one this time. Y'all don't mind that my, ooh, look, look at me, I'm about to burn myself. Don't mind my pan, my baking pan, because it look old, okay? But I promise y'all it's clean, just look old, because I've had it for a while. Just, I just need to get a new one. Just, just, I just need to get a new one. <sighs> so, then, oh, by the way, shoot, I don't have time. Um, give me a second, y'all. Back. It's about 720, mind you guys. We put this in right around 850, almost 9 o'clock. 
so. 10 or 11 hours. I'm going to try and take these out in all peace. Oh, look at this. Can y'all see? Oh, this is going to just look, fall in the ball. I'm just going to lay pieces as they come. Ciao. Look, falling up. Oh. Falling. Falling apart. Right out of the pot. Just going to lay that there just for purposes. Just so y'all know what it came off of. Lord. Ooh. Look at the inner one. Ooh. Falling apart. Well, y'all can't even see. Why y'all ain't tell me y'all couldn't see? Why y'all ain't tell me y'all couldn't see me laying these ribs on this bag on thing? Let's hope this thing don't fall, baby. Why y'all ain't tell me y'all couldn't see these lovely ribs? Look, look, look. Can't even grab it falling off the bone. Jesus. Hey. Glory. Look at that. Ooh. Big old piece. Glory. With all the bones in it. Ooh. Just, I'm just gonna grab what's in the crock pot. I look. Got pieces on here. Falling off the bone still. Look, got pieces down here. I'm just gonna stag on bones on here too. Jesus. Oh no. I'm gonna lose a little meat. Ooh, mm. All right, now I already taste the piece, and y'all and, and, and but baby, look, I can't. How I'm supposed to get the other piece of the rib, half of the rib on here. All oh, these daggone ribs. I should probably take some of these bones off that don't got nothing to do with them. Just so y'all know what it came off of. Slid right off that daggone bone right there. Mm. Anyway, let's try to get this whole piece. Nope. Look, <laughs> try to pull the whole piece out. Baby, it said no, baby. Oh man, look. Whew. Whole thing of ribs, honey. Whole brand new beef, okay? And some of the onions are in here, some of them are not, some of them are on this tray. Trying to get all the extra meat that's at the bottom. Because I want all the extra meat. I don't look like I got any. Nope. Looks like all that's in here now is just uh, onions. I'll put a couple of onions on this bad boy because I like the way it tastes. And I made all these ribs because... People are going to eat all these. I'm going to turn my broiler on just for a second. Uh, I'm going to turn my crock pot off. I'm actually going to set the lid back on top. So that way I'm not losing no pieces. And I am going to grab my little brush. I told y'all I got a bunch of sauces I'm going to use. So we're going to open them up and first we're going to start off with the sticky sweet. We probably going to use probably the rest of this because there's a lot of meat. So we just going to pour and brush. Pour, brush, 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 brush. Um, yep, just the rest of that good old sauce there. <laughs> Definitely use the rest of this. Mm. Brush on this meat on here. Just trying to cover it up, honey. <sighs> so now, y'all, that meat is good. We're gonna take some of the spicy. We're gonna open this up. I know y'all see me just throwing stuff everywhere. Oh, don't mind my colored pickles back here. It's a stick barbecue sauce. Ooh, honey. 
gonna pour a little bit on top of here just so we have enough to go around I'm gonna smear this in oh yes oh oh this is like food orgasm Oh, just get all up in the creases and crevices. Mm. Pour some over here. Mm. Y'all just look at this. I don't even think this is like barbecue. Oh, it's barbecue sauce. I was going to say, I don't even think this is barbecue sauce. Get some on this last piece over here. Or we can go into our next sauce. It might be too many sauces, but we like to try new things. See how it tastes. Now we are going to, before I top it off with that other sauce, I'm going to put my cap back on this one. I'm going to add the capital one mumble sauce. And I'm literally just going to squirt this on here. Because this stuff is sweet. Not even going to try and brush that in. Just going to leave that sit just like that. This one I'm going to use a little bit of. I don't know how this is going to taste. Good. Oh yeah, it tastes good too. Ooh. This is almost like the sweet baby rays sauce. That's what this one tastes like. Sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. I know this seems like a lot of sauce, y'all, but once it caramelizes in the in the oven. All the sauce is gonna be like not dried up but like almost but this is a lot of meat so hmm if you got a lot of meat today mm -hmm. <laughs> that was nasty should not have made that inappropriate anyway gonna stick these in the broiler and uh gonna leave these in there for about um Maybe five minutes, maybe. And we're gonna see. You guys can't see what they look like. We're gonna stick these in the broiler for maybe about five minutes. Let's see how that do. All right, be back when it's done. All right, y'all, I'm back. This is the final look. It has a beautiful broiled char on the top. It tastes fantastic. I've already tasted it. If you can see it in the back here, it's still kind of boiling. Y'all about to see stuff boil over because I got eggs over here. Too much going on. Hold on. All right, let's take that off for a second so y'all don't see stuff boiling back there. Oh, one of my eggs cracked. Bitch. Anyway, so back here, you can still see it boiling back there. Um, Just came out of the broiler. Looks fantastic tastes great and that's my baby back ribs recipe hope you guys try it